get my six. Welcome back to Homesteading Off the Grid and another episode of the PBS S The Potential Bigfoot Sasquatch Show. We're going to do a loop tonight, guys. One of the things I do here uh, in my cryptozoological efforts, part of my research is to regularly, uh, just before dark, at all times of the year, kind of like do a, a loop around my homestead, at least this back part where field meets forest, where the veil is very thin, especially at dusk. So... Um, I keep hearing something, but I'm not seeing anything. It could be birds. It's probably squirrels. Got a lot of both here. Um, could be something else. But look, here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. Uh, I'm going to walk up. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk up here and do what we so regularly do, which is just kind of act as if. Sounded like a tree knock to me, and it came from up here where we're going. Okay, you got to get my six. I can't look back here. I'm going to be looking into the phone. Unless we detect motion, movement, or my gut saying there's something with us. And then we'll take other, other steps. But what I want to do is go up to the high part of our property and kind of do a loop. But not around the property like I usually do. But what I want to do is see if we can lure him, her, it, or they. Bring the peekers in from within the forest while I'm walking this trail at the edge of the forest. And then actually cut into the forest just a little ways and come back down and see if we can flank them, come up behind them. I guess maybe play peek peekaboo with the peekers. <laughs> Hearing something back here. Get my six. So, you know, here's one of my theories. I have several theories. And I've been a cryptozoologist for several years now. And one of my theories is that there are certain times of the year in which you have a better chance of potentially seeing what may or may not be a Bigfoot Sasquatch. And this happens to be one of those times. Uh, as of this recording, it's early November, still early November. And here's why. This is just part of my theory, and it's something, you know, that I've just kind of found over the last couple of years. There's kind of like a lull in human activity. Uh, Halloween's over. People going out to see the fall leaves, taking those big long drives is over because most of the leaves have come down off the trees now. They've fallen. Now, human activity is going to pick up again here in just a few weeks because of Thanksgiving. It's one of the most heavily traveled, as far as the highways go. Um, a lot of traffic. Okay, 4th of July is number one, then New Year's, and then I think Thanksgiving is number three. So, there's like a, about a three-week lull. Now, it is hunting season, okay? It is hunting season, and uh, in most states, at least on the east coast and down in the south, it's deer season, so there are hunters out in the woods. But the number of hunters dwindles with each passing generation. There's just not as many people hunting now as there were, say, 25 years ago. So, okay, I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly. I see a bat. Um, your chances of actually seeing like a bona fide actual something walking around in the woods i'm going to flip the phone it's time to start zooming okay hear it that's not a squirrel okay guys it's time to go into stealth mode
They're up on the ridge line. Guys, they're doing that thing to my phone again. It's probably not showing up on video, but my screen that I'm looking through is getting dark. Oh, there's one over there. My screen's going dark. Guys, I just stopped recording to adjust the brightness on my screen. It's up there, it's up as high as it, it'll go. But they're doing something to my phone to make it turn dark so I can't see what is in the screen I know that when I upload the video it'll be okay it'll come out but what's so frightening is that I don't know what I'm walking into So I just heard some sort of howl off to my left, just as I started recording. I don't know if we caught it on the audio of this camera or not, but I'm inside the wood line now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, same direction from which I just came. As you clearly heard and potentially saw, something came in on us from within the woods to the wood line. And my routine is to continue down the trail down towards the front part of our property where we have wide open, big open fields down there closer to the road. So if they come out to watch me do these daily walks at twilight, which I do daily at twilight, then they're right up here on the edge of the wood line right now. So we're gonna try to actually sneak up on them from behind. Oh, I hope it's not too dark to see. I should have started this 20 minutes sooner and I don't have a flashlight. Once again, Crazy Lake ventures into the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch forest without a flashlight. Flip the phone and see if we can see anything from here. All right, so we can still see if we look up towards the skyline down here in the woods. 
Man, they could be 20 feet away from us, which I think they may or may not be. And we wouldn't see them, I don't think. We're gonna have to get right up on them. Okay, so I'm going to finish my theory. Wait a minute. Look at that. And look at those glowing eyes. Did you hear it? made like a chirp or a bark. It's doing that strange thing with my phone, it's pixelating. No, it just closed its eyes. It's getting too dark to see. Guys, I think I waited a little bit too late to come out here tonight. When it gets dark this time of year, it gets dark quick. It's like no warning. So... My theory is that with this lull in human travel, human activity, him, her, it, or they feel more of a freedom to move around. And as such, I believe they do. And as a result, that gives us a better chance of being a, or seeing them. The thing is, we've got to get out there to see them. But it's so dark right now. You know what? I do have a solution. Go to the house, get a flashlight, come back, do a night hunt. Hmm. Because I heard something right here. You heard it. You heard them coming in on us right here at this tree line. It's worth walking all the way down there and coming up and just for five or six minutes shining a light around through there and seeing what we may or may not see, don't you think? All right, well, let's go down here and get a flashlight. I'm gonna keep the camera running while I do because we can still hear despite the darkness. And do you remember that video from just a few nights ago? That blood curdling scream? Somebody said it's a, a meerkat. I don't know if we have those around here. I've been meaning to look that up for days and I've been meaning to go to YouTube and see what, see what one sounds like. And then of course, a lot of folks have said it's a panther. Those supposedly don't exist here, but that doesn't mean anything. Because supposedly Bigfoot Sasquatch doesn't exist anywhere. But you saw the video footage from 25 October, 2019, which by the way, you know, Got those prints, those those eight by ten photographs, autographed with the research tools. <sighs> Went into town today to mail out all the ones that sold out overnight while I was sleeping. Came home to see we've sold almost just as many today while I was gone as we sold last night. Because you know I ordered fifty more. They're available in the Etsy store. Links in the description box. So it's crazy. I'm going to have to like maybe free sales here after another day or two to get caught up on on orders but uh, my point is yes i was shamelessly self-promoting that package but uh, also what was in that video and what did we blow up in that picture you know something that supposedly doesn't exist all right let me run in here and get the flashlight and we're gonna go back and see if we can find what was sneaking up on us there at that wood line okay guys 
This is my fourth take since that last scene when I was going into the house to get the flashlight. I have the flashlight and I haven't turned it on because the previous three takes, I turn it on and say, look, I have my flash. Okay, I start recording and then I try to jump scare you by like, because it's total darkness because it's dark out here now. And then I turn on the light and I'm looking all creepy, but bleh. And then, but then the, the phone stops recording and this is a perfectly good working iPhone 11 S. I've never had problems with this phone. There's something in the woods only maybe 20 feet away from me. And it's as if it's zapping my phone because I'll finish the segment. And then realize it wasn't, it's not recording, even though it started recording. And I've been going back to the phone and that footage isn't here. So I think when he, she, it, or they see this flashlight, they zap the phone. So I've not turned the light on. So what I'm going to do is turn the light on first and then start recording. So I'm going to switch the direction of the camera so you can see. So you can see what I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at and recording, okay? Let's try it this time. Okay, so I turn the light on. And then the phone. I mean, it's possible. It's possible that maybe there was some sort of interaction between the phone and the light. Maybe the, the, the camera didn't like what was going on, but I have reason to believe it might be something else. And whatever that thing was that was creeping up on me was 20 feet away. It came up this way. So let's go up here. Remember, we're looking for eye shine. Movement. Tree knock. Definitive tree knock. I hear footsteps. Down to my right, down this way. There's something in the woods down here. not a squirrel. The squirrels have gone to bed for the night. Whatever it is, might be following us. So we're gonna go up the hill again like we did earlier and then come back down and see if we can meet it face to face and hope it's not a panther. Of course, as you know, there may or may not be more fierce things in this forest than panthers.
I'm gonna get actually into those woods so I can get a better view. It's a creepy old dead cedar. that eye shine just above ground level from two of them that's about 60 yards away Tell you how we'll tell. We'll get a little bit closer and then shine the light back over there again. That's where we heard something coming up on us. We looped around. It's gone. Look at that. It's between those two trees. We clearly saw the eye shine at ground level. not there but it couldn't have gone far so many strange structures in this forest Here's the dog starting to go crazy back that way. They're a considerable, considerable distance away. There's no houses back there. Goes back down over the mountain. 
to a river, then you gotta cross the river, then start up the next side of the mountain before you hit the next house. Something above me. Wow, that's a privet bush, right? Something down here. There's a privet bush right there. It's like 20 feet tall. It looks like a tree. So strange. Look, there's no wind. Look at these seed pods. Seed pods left over from eastern redbud tree. There's not even a slight breeze or they'd be moving. Yet we're hearing something right here that sounds like footsteps. That was a branch breaking deeper into the forest. Is that eye shine right there in the center? Look. See? So guys, I feel like we've been watched the whole time we were out there. And I'm blind right now because I'm shining a light in my face so you can see me. I think our game of hide and seek uh, worked. They sure did seem to seek us out when we walked through here the first time. But then once they saw that we didn't go the way we usually go and we looped back down, flanked them and went back, they sure went into hiding. But we went and got the flashlight and came back to seek them out again. So our never endless game of hide and seek with potentially the world's hide and seek champion continues. We're not gonna give up, we don't do that. That's what people who don't win do. They give up, they stop, they quit. We're just gonna have to get out here another time. This video has been so long. It's like, there's only so much storage space on the internet. I need to leave some for some other people. Like Google and Amazon and those guys. I can't take it all up. But I'm gonna be out here again tomorrow taking some of it up. Hope you join me for more next time from the PBS S. What the hell? Guys, there are not supposed to be birds out this time of day, but I felt like something was following me, so I shined the light back behind me, and there was something bigger than a bat, about the size of a crow, like hovering in the trail behind me, and then it flew away. It wasn't a bat. This place is creepy. It was right there. S. The potential Bigfoot. Sasquatch. 
Tchau. Tan, tan, tan.